There are a few cars that make you stop and think, wait, that actually worked? And the capstone CMT380 is one of those. A mid-engined, a diesel-electric hybrid supercar that claimed 0-60 to 60 in under 4 seconds and a 150 mph top speed. And a range so ludicrous it could drive from Los Angeles to Las Vegas and back twice without breaking a sweat. It wasn't built by Ferrari or Porsche. It wasn't even built by a major automaker. No, this thing came from a collaboration between a small turbine manufacturer and a kit car company. It sounds like a setup to a bad joke, but the punchline is that it very nearly worked. But to understand how strange and brilliant the CMT380 really was, you have to look at its bones. Beneath the sharp mid-engine body was a Factory 5 GTM chassis, the same kit car platform inspired by the Ford GT40, all swooping lines and low slung aggression, but designed for people who enjoy building their own supercar in a garage over the course of several weekends. It gave Capstone a mid-engine layout, a rigid tubular frame and an aerodynamic shell to work with. Then they decided to make it the cleanest, most efficient supercar ever built, and rather than go electric or hybrid in the traditional sense, they turned to jet turbine technology. Yes, a turbine. The CMT380 didn't have a traditional piston engine at all, instead it used Capstone's C330 microturbine, a 30 kilowatt power unit, roughly the size of a large coffee maker, that spun at 96 1000 rpm and produced about 40 horsepower. Now I know that doesn't sound impressive on paper, but here's the twist, the turbine wasn't directly connected to the wheels. It was part of a series hybrid setup, like the one used in the BMW i3 REX or the original Chevy Volt, except this one was designed for high performance. The turbine acted as an onboard generator, feeding electricity to a small 450 pound lithium ion battery pack, which in turn powered the electric motors that drove the rear wheels. This setup made the CMT380 something of a technological oddity. It wasn't a pure EV, but it wasn't a conventional hybrid either. The turbine never mechanically touched the drivetrain, it simply produced energy, and the car's electric motors did the rest. It was quiet, eerily so, but when the turbine spun up, it didn't roar like a V8 or scream like a V10, instead it whirred like a distant jet engine, preparing for takeoff, producing a whooshing hum that sounded more aerospace than automotive. And the brilliance of the C30 turbine lay in its simplicity, it had only one moving part, no pistons, no crankshaft, no camshafts, no oil changes. It was air lubricated and air cooled, which meant there was almost nothing to maintain. And unlike an internal combustion engine that throws a tantrum if you feed it the wrong fuel, the C30 could run on almost anything. Diesel, biofuels, propane, natural gas, even landfill waste gases. It was the definition of flexibility. In industrial settings, these turbines power hospitals, ski resorts and remote military bases because they are so reliable. Capstan took that same industrial grade technology and shoved it into a supercar. Now in terms of efficiency, the numbers were staggering. The CMT380 could theoretically achieve 210 miles per gallon in certain hybrid operating modes. That wasn't fantasy marketing, it was based on SAE J1711 testing standards for hybrids. Even when driven hard in full performance mode, the turbine supplemented system still returned around 40 mpg, which is better than most modern compact cars. Add in its 500 mile range from a 10 gallon tank and suddenly you had a mid-engine sports car that could outlast the Prius. You see the trick was how Capstone balanced the power flow. In battery only operation, the CMT380 drew from its stored energy burning nothing. In charge sustainability mode, the turbine kicked in, feeding continuous power to keep the battery topped up. In mixed operation, both work together, optimizing efficiency. And because the turbine maintained a constant high speed rotation rather than 
Stop Start Madness of piston engines, it operated at its peak efficiency almost all the time. This made it not just clean, but incredibly durable. From a performance standpoint, the CMT380 was no slouch. With the instant torque of its electric drive motors, it could sprint from 0 to 60 in just 3.9 seconds, which was quicker than a Porsche 911 Carrera of the era. And it could keep going until the speed limiter kicked in at 150 miles per hour. And yet, it wasn't designed to be a tracker. Capstone envisioned it as a grand tour for the future, capable of crossing continents without compromise. No range anxiety, no smoke, no trauma, just speed and serenity. Of course, this being the real world, the CMT380 never became the game changer it could have been. The prototype was unveiled around 2009, which was a time when the automotive world was in turmoil. The global financial crisis had left investors skittish, and anything that wasn't directly profitable or mass producible was immediately shelved. Tesla had barely gotten the roadster off the ground, and the idea of a turbine powered supercar seemed like science fiction. The cost didn't help either. Capstone C30 microturbine wasn't cheap, each unit cost tens of thousands of dollars. And the supporting electronics, cooling systems, and custom chassis work pushed the CMT380 far beyond what a small manufacturer could realistically bring to market. The car was never fully homologated, never tested for production durability, and never crash certified. Only one functional prototype was ever completed. That prototype made several appearances at technology expos and alternative energy showcases, where it was praised as a glimpse into the future of sustainable performance. But after the initial buzz faded, it quietly disappeared from public view. Capstone shifted its focus back to industrial and commercial energy systems, where the margins were safer and the risks were lower. By the mid-2010s, the CMT380 was effectively dead. As of today, the original Capstone CMT380 prototype reportedly still exists, though it's uncertain where. Some sources suggest it remained in Capstone's possession as a display or demonstration model, while others claim it was sold to a private collector. It's never been seen operating publicly since its unveiling. No additional cars were built, no successor projects announced, and no plans ever materialized to put the microturbine electric hybrid into production. Instead, it joined the long list of brilliant but doomed prototypes that dared to be different. Like the Chrysler turbine car of the 1960s, the CMT380 showed that turbine power could work on the road. It just couldn't survive the economics of mass production. But even in failure, it left behind something remarkable, proof that performance and sustainability don't have to be enemies. But yeah, at the end of this video, please let me know what you guys thought of the video, what do you guys think of the car, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably enjoy most of my other stuff, so just go through my channel, see if there's someone else to like, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?